right, so today I'm gonna show you how to quickly enhance tattoos and a lot of other things in Photoshop. But before I get started, I wanna go over a couple things real quick with you. One is the music I listen to when I do compositing and do editing in Photoshop is super important because it has to match the vibe, that, the feeling that I'm getting out of you know whatever image that I'm creating. And so on this image, I listen to a lot of obviously Metallica. Who better to listen to than Metallica when we're editing a tattoo artist? So uh, for this image, that's what I listen to or for the images from the uh, Davis Street tattoo guys, I listen to a lot of Metallica. And I'm curious, what music do you listen to? Does it even matter what you listen to when you're uh, editing photos in Photoshop and that type of thing when you're compositing? Does it really matter to you what you're listening to? And if so, what is it? Leave a comment below and let me know. All right, so I'm gonna X out of here. And so this is the photo that we're gonna be working on today. All right, and, and uh, want to really quickly point out, I just added a page to the portfolio section of my website called My Sketches. And here you will see all the fun sketches that I do before the concepts that I create before actually doing the composite. So it's kind of cool just to see that. Also, the tutorial that I'm giving today on enhancing tattoos, I didn't come up with this uh, technique or this way of doing it. I learned this from Michael Erb at michaelherbphoto.com. Uh, and to be real honest with you, his tutorial is awesome. He's using a, a totally naked girl uh, with tattoos all over her to uh, show you how to do this. So if you really want to watch this tutorial with a naked chick rather than a hairy tattooed dude, go over to Michael Erb's video and check that out because it is really, really good. Also, I just ran across this guy. Uh, I, I have no idea. I think he's from Finland or somewhere, but I have no idea how to say his name. Anti anti Karpinen. Anyway, his work is really badass, and it's at anticarpinen.com. Uh, I'll leave the uh, link in the show notes below, but uh, really cool stuff that this guy is doing, and uh, just kind of wanted to turn you guys on to him uh, and see what, uh, so you can see what he's doing and, and maybe be inspired by what uh, this guy is doing with his photography. All right, so let's get in to today's tutorial. So that and bring my Photoshop up. All right, so this is the image that we're going to be working with. This is the before. And if anybody, if you know my style of photography, I do a ton of Photoshop work in it. So this is the before image that we'll be working with. And this is the after image. All right, not totally after because I take it in the light shop and do some more things. So anyway, uh, breaking this thing down here, we're going to go all the way take those off we're going to remove that and so here is the big head look toned him down just a little bit added some shading and shaping to his body because I like uh, giving it a little bit more three-dimensionality and then added the tattoo enhancing part of this and this is what I'm going to be showing you real quick today I mean this is super fast Everything that I've talked about so far is going to take longer than this actual uh, tutorial will. So what you're going to do is once you're ready for to enhance some tattoos, you're going to add a new layer. In that layer, you're going to give it a overlay blend mode. And then you're going to, going to double click on it. And then in the blend if, and I don't know a great deal about this. Again, you know, I just kind of went with what... I was showing in the tutorial, but what you're going to do is push Alt or Option, click this left uh, little tab here, bring it all the way over. And then for the right tab, I usually bring it to about 180 or so. Uh, of course, you can darken it even more. I bring it to about 180 and then click OK. So that gets you set up with this layer on what you're gonna do. Then you're going to come in here and grab your brush tool. Uh, I like to bring this flow up to 100% and then I'll bring this down to 40-ish percent. Uh, bring it to black. And let's see here. So we got our black 
and then I give it a hardness. You know, I like doing everything pretty soft edges. So, and then just come in here and paint in the tattoos. And so you can see how that automatically just enhances those tattoos on him and really brings them to life. Now, if you want uh, something a little bit, you know, more intense, you can obviously come in here and up your flow and it's going to darken them even more. Okay. And so you can see how it is even darker on that. I, like I said, I like it around well, 40 to 50% come in here. It gives you a really good, nice tone. And then if you really want to double that, and then if you get too much here on the edge like this, this is a little too black for me. You put a layer mask on it, uh, grab your black again, and then, I don't know, 50% or so. And then I like it, with this, I'll feather it a lot. And then just come in and just brush out the edge there like that. And then that'll bring back in that detail and the really dark areas. And then you can just up this, bring your hardness, make it a little harder and then edge. And then you can really just kind of get rid of the, the black there on the edges that we were painting in with our technique here. And so that's really all you have to do. And make sure you get it off his skin if you want it, off his skin there, anywhere up here if it's on a skin, just tone that down. And then if you want to, uh, make that enhance that even more you can actually double it and you have a even you know more intense tattoos or darker tattoos if you don't like that then you can drop that opacity down however you want and just play with it you just do whatever you want on this you, I mean this is up to you what you like uh, what makes the tattoos look the best for you that type of thing also you can come in here we'll just do another quick layer here and then bring this down, bring it over to 180-ish or so, bring the blend mode to overlay, and then you can come in here and, let's see here, I'm going to bring this down to about 20, and then you can come in here and paint, you know, like the stencils here that are on the wall, and you can get those to pop out really nice as well. If you want Jesus to show up a little bit better, you can do that one. Um, so you can go in here and do anything that has, you know, dark details and bring those, you know, to life with this type of technique. You can bring that little belt to life a little bit more. And so you can use this technique for a lot of different things here on uh, a photo. Uh, a lot of times I'll use it on belts. A lot of times I'll use it on any kind of details that I really just kind of want to pop. Tattoos are an excellent, uh, place to use this technique and that's why I showed you that tutorial or this tutorial today. So that's how I enhance tattoos using Photoshop. Go out, try to try your own ways, you know, try to, you know, change the levels on this and, and you know, the flow and all that kind of good stuff. See what you come up with, see what works best for you, what you like the best and share that with us because I love seeing what work you guys do. Share with me through email. You can contact me at Jason at photillustrator.com email me your questions if you want to see me do something or some you know an editing technique or something i do with the compositing please email me let me know and i'll see what i can do for you until next time be awesome go out do some awesome composites and i'll see you next time on photillustrator illustrator